Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and this tutorial is to finish up the barrel. We're going to go ahead and create a specularity map. So right now we have a color map, but map, and now we're ready for a specularity map. So let's go hop into Photoshop. This is what it looks like right now. I'm going to grab my bump map, duplicate it, and this is going to be my spec. File, save as, call this spec. But basically how specularity works is that anything light is going to be shiny and anything dark is not going to be as shiny. For example, let's go ahead and see what this looks like when I plug it into Maya. Grab the blend. We're going to be taking a look at specularity. First of all, our reflection is 0.5. That is very dramatic. So let's go ahead and change it to 0.02. If you take a look at a specular color, it is at 50% gray. You reduce it to black and it looks like it actually doesn't have any specularity anymore. If you bring it to white, you can see that it's extremely specular. So we're going to use that to actually create a map. We're going to go ahead and plug in our specular color. Go to file, to a little folder, and grab your spec. So right away you can see that the wood has a little bit of it, but the metal actually has a lot. That is actually something that we want. And it might be a little too specular up here. So I might actually have to reduce that brightness. So grab my specularity. This is the metal. Grab my hue and sat. Reduce this brightness. Let's see what this looks like. Save. And it's always about exploring. You always want to see, you know, what's gonna what's gonna look good. Give it a couple of tries and see what's gonna be the effect. All right, I kind of like that much more. It's definitely not as bright. I'm happy with everything, so I'm gonna collapse this. And the nice thing is, is that I can actually go ahead and save this as TIFFs right away. So I'm going to save as, and this time I'm going to go to my source images and I'm going to go save it as a TIFF. Some people like Targas. I personally like TIFFs. Remove the layers and then save. Make sure this is none and then click OK. Go ahead and hide the spec and bring up the bump. Again, Control Shift S. We're going to go to our source images. We're going to change this into a TIFF, turn off the layers, and this was going to be our barrels BMP for bump. And finally, color. Let's go ahead and save this in source images. It's going to be a TIFF layers and let's not forget to name it CLR. So this is very efficient because we have three files up with all the layers. So you can always go back and change it. And then we also have our folder with our source images and it's got three files in there. So the difference is size. So you can see with color, it is about three megabytes. But when you take a look at it, and take a look at it as a PSD and you take a look at that, it's 25 megabytes. So it's a huge file. So you don't want to leave it as a PSD. You always want to save it as something smaller like a TIFF or a Targa. Let's remap these. So there's several ways we can do this. I'm going to go to my Hypershade, Windows Rendering Editor, Hypershade. You can graph this, right click, Graph Network. I can change these. So click on the little folder. And you may be wondering why I'm changing these into TIFFs. And the reason why it's because PSDs work in Maya software, but when you go into Mental Ray and you render, it doesn't work. The textures don't show up, so we have to convert them into TIFFs or something that Maya can read. So I click on the little folder. This is going to be my color. We're going to go into my source images and find color. This one is going to be our spec. Go to our source images, grab the spec, and of course, finally, the bump. All right, so now when we render, there you go. This is our barrel in mental ray. You can see that it is still low poly, but once you press three, it's a smooth preview and therefore you can see that it's smooth as well. And let's just do some really basic lighting. 